What is happening, people? Hey, guys, it has been a month since I've been on the water. Good grief. Man, you know how excited I am to be out here today? Man, every single weekend in our area here, it's been raining and the wind's been blowing and it's just been keeping me off the water. But boom, I'm here today, baby. We are at Kerr Lake, specifically in Grassy Creek. You can see the bridge behind me. I don't hide where I fish at. And uh, I hope to get on some big crappy today. So, hey guys, come along with me and I hope you enjoy the video. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. Nice one right there, y'all. Woo, doggy boy. Wildlife Adventures, that's how we roll. Well, not the uh, fish we wanted. Just a, just a small fry. You see, he hit that cutie and that hot tail. And, uh, what I've discovered, I've only been fishing here a few minutes. We'll let him go. I don't think he's going to make the 10 inch grade. Uh, well, they're nine inches. Nine inches here, ain't they? So I've been fishing a few minutes. I played with a couple of colors. And uh, I saw some fish up here on the flat, sitting right on the bottom and 10 feet. This fish was suspended out here in the creek channel. That's the ones I kind of prefer to fish. And I have realized since the water's this dingy, sun's still low, these fish are not spooky, so they're letting me get right on top of them. So I've been casting to them, but I think I'm gonna switch right now and go to a vertical jig presentation. Uh, a lot of times I'll do that if I can get closer to the fish. Uh, I try to pitch out to them when they're about 15 feet away. So I'm gonna switch my presentation and maybe I can isolate some bigger size crappy by doing that, just suspend it out here in this creek channel. This is, uh, he hit that blue moon color. That's a little bit better fish. He might make nine inches. We keeping fish today. I got somebody who wants some fish. I don't keep a lot of crappy, but he may make nine inches. He was nine and a half, almost nine and three quarters. So, boom, got one for the pot. This is a pretty good one right here, y'all. Oh, yeah. Ah. Boys and girls. Boom. That's what we after right there, y'all. Good gracious. Now, he hit the hair jig. <clears throat> Basically, I just spotted some fish on the bottom. On the, he was on the very bottom. And, 16 feet of water. Boom. Nice, pretty crappy. Nice. You know, crappy, <clears throat> crappy right now, crappy right now, a little lethargic. Um, they're coming and looking at the lure, kissing it, uh, but not just, you know, hammering. You know how it is some days. And, uh, you know, you, you just stay patient. And I've got all day. And I, Came this morning, I got here roughly around 8.30, 9 o'clock, and I'll probably fish on till 4 this afternoon. 
most of the time I find this time of year, the bite is better after about one o'clock to about four o'clock. And so, you know, I just want to search this area. I know I've seen a lot of fish in this area, so I just want to be methodical and fish around, present my lure to these fish and let them tell me what they want to do. Another pretty good one there, y'all. Boom, he hit that, he hit that gray, black. We'll take him. Boom, good gracious. So quickly, I have this question almost every video and I don't go over it each time. Many people say, what kind of rod and reel are you using? What pound test line, lures? So right now, real quickly, so I just got to the lake. As a fisherman, you're always gonna think this. If you've been fishing down here and you've been fishing the same color water, you kind of have an idea in your mind of what you're gonna be fishing with. So just quickly, I'm gonna show you what I chose, not necessarily telling you this is the correct color. I'll change throughout the day as my tactics change. Uh, I, will use a, I will use two tactics and I'm gonna try to cast to these crappy right there. That is a hot tail bait, Lake Country baits right there. That is the cutie color. I'll tell you why I chose the cutie color. Dennis put out a video the other day and he was catching fish on that cutie color. Has a dark body with a chartreuse tail. Look at the water color behind me. So I'm gonna stay uh, with some darker bodies maybe, maybe some natural colors depending on what I see uh, in the water color, and as the sun comes up, uh, this is a Fenwick rod, Shimano reel. I just got these rods. I've only fished with them one time. Uh, my other Fenwick rod, both are seven foot rods, six pound test line, and that is the winter color there. You can see that is dark blue, chartreuse tail. That is on the eighth ounce head. This one was on the 16th. I don't know how deep these fish will be, so I got a 16th and an eighth, if that makes sense. Now that is primarily for casting. I am a very deadly fisherman when fish are suspended. So, I've hooked myself. So, my two 10 foot rods that I use for vertical jigging or pitching, uh, again, Shimano reel, 2000 series and a 1000 series. Uh, and I have just a hair jig on the bottom, gray with a black head, that's what I'm gonna start with. And I have that chartreuse green with the red head. Seems to be good in brackish and muddy water. Uh, this is uh, Sam Super Sensitive, 10 foot rod, same thing. Uh, the 2000 series Shimano reel, it is 10 foot on the top. I have the LC Shad in a straight tail. That is the ice color. And white is usually pretty good in dirty water. And on the bottom, boom, blue moon, baby, blue moon. And you know, I usually run a double rig jig. That is primarily mostly what I do unless I'm fishing in brush. So, hey guys, uh, let's turn around here. I'm gonna do some scouting around and see if we can find some fish. Boom, let's go catch a fish. Boom. He hit that, uh, he hit the hair jig, he hit the, let me spot lock that. Boom. Good crappy right there, y'all. He hit that green with the red head. See, that's the joy. I've caught one on the white and one on the red. That's the thing about fishing two colored jigs. You allow the fish to tell you what they want. Put him in the pot. Uh, 
you know, of course, some people don't like to live scope. I'm live scoping the fish that are hanging right on the bottom. I hope this helps you. The fish that are hanging right on the very bottom are not feeding. If they're up, from what I've seen today, if they're up three feet off the bottom up to, we fishing in about 16, 18 feet of water. If they're up three feet off the bottom up to about uh, eight feet in that range, they will usually come over and strike at the lure at least. That's what I'm seeing right now. A lot of fish are hanging right on the bottom. Don't know if that low pressure coming through is uh, having something to affect the fish, but that's kind of what I'm seeing today. And uh, I'm gonna switch some colors around. This water looks dingier than it really is. I'm gonna switch some colors here in just a minute, and try something different. Good gracious. Hey, I switched up a little bit. Uh, you can see that color is limeade. That's a limeade in the LC Shad Straight. Got a good contrast, boom. And a missed. So here again, playing with colors. I switched up just a few minutes ago. Normally when I switch up, I really don't tell you that I'm gonna switch up just because I don't know if they'll catch fish and so I switch a lot. Uh, that is that wily color. You see, you notice those crappie that I caught, how light in color? Uh, fish are gonna change the color to the water color because there's stripers and catfish in here that'll eat them, so they're trying to hide too. So that's the wily color there, LC Shad, Lake Country Baits, uh, and that is the limeade there. Pretty sure I got that right, Dennis. Limeade there. And uh, I've got an eighth ounce on the bottom. See that head? It's got that little eye on it. And I've caught some already on that hair jig. The hair jig seems to be productive. Uh, but I wanted to switch up and kind of figure out, I don't fish this color of water a lot. So I want to play with colors. Uh, a lot of people always say, Sam, why you change so many colors? Just because if I fish this color water here, I go to a different lake, Jordan Lake or Heiko Lake, and I see this water. Well, I know what color's in my box automatically, boom, just like that, to change to that will catch fish. Now, I like natural colored baits. Uh, these are lighter colored, so they look lighter in the water. And uh, actually, that Wiley actually looks the best in the water when I'm just looking at it, so. Uh, that's why you gotta have multiple styles of baits, just for that reason, for different water colors. Another old nice one here, y'all. Good gracious. Pretty crappy. Good gracious. All right. Looks like they like that lime, that limeade. Boom. Look at old fat crappy. Good gracious, pretty, pretty fish. Okay, well, now when I come back, I'm gonna tell you how I rigged this right here. Uh, so that may help some of you if I tell you how I rigged it. Uh, so for you guys that are spotting stalking, I need the wind. I have aluminum boat, and the wind really puffs on this much more than I when I had my fiberglass boat. For, so that for that reason, my boat moves around a lot on top of the water. Now I can get up in the shallow places and don't have to worry about it, but there's a trade-off there. So since my boat is moving around, it's a little breeze, maybe four miles per hour behind me. Since there's a little breeze that's moving around. I get to a fish, they seem to be spooky, and they're giving me one drop. So I chose to put a eighth ounce on the bottom. Then this is how I rig it. I chose to put the eighth ounce on the bottom, 16th ounce on the top. Now those hair jigs that I was using just a few minutes ago, they're, they're two sixteenths. The hair jigs, so they resist the water and they fall a little bit slower. Uh, 
but you know these are these LC shad baits and they drop pretty darn quickly. So when I pitch out to a fish, I can get it to him quicker before he spooks and have a chance, at least have a chance to uh, catch the fish. Uh, I hope that helps you out there. I could put a big split shot right over the weight. I've, I've seen people do that. Uh, I'm just telling you what I do. There's no right or wrong way to, for, to do this. All right, one decent one. I think he'll probably be a keeper. Let's see. Him up here. Boom. Yeah, I think he'll make a keeper. He's pushing 10 inches at least. Boom. Look at that old belly. Just fat. Gracious. All right, now he hit that uh, black chartreuse right there in the LC shed. Um, you know. He went right past that lime aid and hit that black chartreuse. Oh, nice, pretty, fat, crappy. Another tip I'm gonna tell you. Uh, so I'm gonna turn this a little sideways here. Uh, here. Let, let's say I'm dropping on a fish. Can you see my rod here? Uh, I hope so. Let's say I'm dropping on a fish and, 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 and I'm close, but I'm not deep enough and the boat's moving forward. Now, I need to get the lure down to him, to the fish, say three feet. But what I do is I start lowering my rod tip into the water. Now, I don't care. I just want to get it right above the fish. And so I'm going to just keep dropping it, keep dropping it, keep dropping it in the water, keep dropping it, keep dropping it, till I don't care if my rod, half my rod is down in the water, as long as I get that bait to that fish. That is much quicker. If you, some people hold the line out like this and drop it to them, but I'm talking about after I've dropped, got it to the depth and the boat is swept past the fish or what, for whatever reason, I need to get that little bit of depth a little bit more. If you reach up there and flip that bail, very, very difficult to judge that. And if that lure, if that crap is sitting here, right where my chin is, and that lure's up here, and it falls on him real quick, whoosh, right by him, boom, he's gone. That's just the way it is. Uh, so you much better take that rod, start lowering it real slow, nothing fast, and just put the whole rod down in the water. Boom. Hey, that's just a little tip for you. Hey, guys, we're getting ready to end this video. Um, all in all, it was a pretty good day. Uh, we've got some nice crappie in the live well, I think, Maybe that one may be pushing 1.2 pounds. That was probably the biggest fish we caught today. And uh, anyway, we caught them on some hair jigs, uh, chartreuse redhead. Uh, we caught them on a gray with a black head. Uh, caught quite a few. Uh, when I switched over those LC shads, caught quite a few on that chartreuse color. That limeade seemed to be a little better than the Wiley. And, uh, but anyway, uh, the water was dingy, so we just uh, matched our color of lure to the color of water. Hey guys, I hope you've seen something in the video that you enjoyed. Hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Subscribe to the channel. Comment below. Enjoy seeing your comments. Watch out. First weekend in April, I'm going to make a big announcement. Uh, there's going to be some changes for wildlife adventures. Excited about those changes. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, and watch that video coming out that weekend, April 1st or either April 1st or March 31st. Not quite sure what day the video will actually air. Uh, don't forget, God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Don't forget, hit that like button, click that notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wildlife. And I'll see you on the water.